Hey guys, the worst has finally happened though in Nigeria. Everything don't turn upside down. How did we even get here? This is terrible. This will shock you. As President Bola Metunubu has been exposed, Nigerians, Nigeria is gone. Tinubu admitted he did not know how to rule Nigeria as president. And now the question is, why is he here? His supporters, are they aware of these things? And they were busy supporting him. He said he will be president, he's a stone and all that. And people don't want to even look. Hey, is this person competent for this job? Oh, because he has said he's a stone to become the president. Or make all of us begin supporter. Where is Asari the Kuba today? Where is he? He's now silent. Because he has seen that the market is, he went to, to buy is a bad market. Those APC supporters who want to kill anybody that come close to them or say anything about President Bola Tinubu, today they are the first persons and now shouting they are hungry. Tinubu should resign. Why? If we are saying we are one Nigeria, which I doubt, because if we are one Nigeria, we're supposed to be working with one hand, one mind. We look at this candidate, not mining where they are coming from, not mining their religion. We are talking about a competent president. Not be one when we say, if you go outside the country, when you talk about the person, People go say a big shift. Fear not even let you mention the name of your president. Integrity matters a lot. Nigerians, this will shock you. Mrs. Mohammed said. He said that President Bola Metinubu admitted that he doesn't know how to rule Nigeria as president too. She said this while explaining what led to her resignation from the ruling party before the election on a live program on AIT News, seen by Sahara reporters on social media. She noted that at one of their meetings in London, prior to the polls, President Tinubu told her that the blueprint for his rule of the country would be draft after the election, which made her question president's competency. She said, then I saw a message saying that Ashiwaju wants to talk to you. This is around 11 p.m. So I gave them a reply. I am waiting. Immediately they saw my test. So they called me back and Ashiwaju called me. He said, I respect your stance on not accepting the appointment. I said, yes, yes, sir, because I cannot be a zombie. I just can't follow you because you said I should follow you. Let me know what you have for us or not. Because if I made a mistake on Buhari with, with you, the truth is written on the horizon. So I have to know what you have for us. He said he was in London that if I could, I could come over. He offered to buy me a ticket. I said, no, no, sir. I can afford a ticket. And then he said, can I get a hotel for you? I said, yes, that I will appreciate. I took the next uh, flight to London. I saw him that the same night and we sat and I said, sir, the reason why I am not accepting your appointment is because I don't know what you have for us up north. Because in the north, every single person is either waiting to be killed or kidnapped. We can't go on like this. What is your blueprint for us? President Bola Metunubu told me that he does not have any blueprint for us. I said, you know, you mean, sir, 
you don't have a blueprint he said i can't have a blueprint because if i have a blueprint i will be stepping on too many toes and they might even kill me this was what he said i said but sir how can you rule without a blueprint he said i will only make a blueprint after winning the elections i said there will be a lot of distractions after winning the elections you have to keep your eyes on the ball he said well you know what if you have anything you want me to put in my manifesto then please bring it i told him that i have heard us we have a network for national salvation uh, i have our elder i will go meet him in paris the next day the next day i left for paris i did not get to see him but we came back to london we sat and we already had up a template so he gave me something we look we took something about the amajiri because the amajiri is really a menace to us up not they have been used as kenu fodder and when you have a able when you have able bodied men that are doing nothing in their minimums you will always get a problem i told him about that i wrote about that i wrote about agriculture i wrote about security and so many other things to date i have not been allowed to see ashwa ju to even give it to him hmm. baba never promised to do any miracle kabeg he only said it was his turn and buari gave it to him he's a gentleman the gentleman agreement you understand he told you people i will follow president bola metunobu stamp uh, yes president muhammad buari's template everybody here he not pretend he not deceive any person so that is it so when he said he does not have any blueprint he did not also lie so guys what's your take on this let's hear from you what's your take i'm asking again kindly share your thoughts below the comment section thank you